I'm smiling because I already know we're about to laugh, 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 laugh. Something that's needed and required on this channel because we've been checking out some things that had us crying and had us upset and yelling at the screen and breaking, punching holes through our TV screen whenever I react to certain things. And I'm not fixing your TV, so stop breaking your dag on TVs, please. Don't break any more of your cameras either. I don't listen. It's not my fault. I only give y'all what the people give me. That's it. That's it. But this one right here is unique because it got my man, um, <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield, is going live. He's going to be live in front of Ronald Reagan while he was the president. This was in 1981 when I was three years old. <laughs> so um, we about to check this out, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Also, we have our new hats. If y'all want to check them out, look in the description below. Um, Hatsforsale.com, LFR10 for 10% off. If you want to, I'm not asking you to, I'm just saying if you want to, put in LFR10 so that you can get 10% off and free shipping anywhere in America, okay? <laughs> What a crowd, what a crowd, huh? <laughs> now, I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? Yeah, last week my wife signed me up for a bridge club. I jump off next Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, last week nothing went right. I bought a waterbed. There were two Cuban guys swimming there looking for Florida. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, that was funny. Yeah, right. looking for Florida. <laughs> Now, last week I went to the track too, that was a beauty. I shot off the opening gun, they killed my horse. <laughs> I'll tell you, nothing works out. My car broke down again. I got a car, I got nothing but trouble. Every Sunday I take my family out for a push. <laughs> the last time my wife drove the car, she cracked it up, went into a tree. She told me it wasn't her fault, she blew the horn. <laughs> my wife isn't too smart, you know. One night she went out, some guy stole the car. I said to her, did you see what he looked like? She told me she got the license plate number. <laughs> She's not smart at all. I told her our kid is spoiled. She told me a lot of kids smell that way. Hold on, that was George Bush. That was George Bush. That was George H. Bush. Wasn't it? She's not smart at all. I told her our kid is spoiled. She told me a lot of kids smell that way, you know? <laughs> now, I tell you, it's tough to stay married to my wife. How do you think I feel? She kissed the dog on her lips and she won't drink from my glass. <laughs> I mean, there's always some. My wife's father, he just moved in too, has electronic pacemaker. Every time he sneezes, the garage door opens. <laughs> I'll tell you, life isn't easy. My psychiatrist told me I'm going crazy. I said, if you don't mind, like a second opinion, he said, all right, you're ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this dude has rapid fire comedy. I'm not going to keep on stopping it, but this dude has rapid fire comedy and I enjoy it. Meaning he has joke after joke after. As soon as you're done laughing loud, he gives you another one, you laugh. He gives you another one, you laugh. He gives you another one, back to back to back. Like he don't stop, man. Hold on, I'm gonna put this on both screens because this is hilarious, man. I gotta play this. Are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. Halloween, I open a front door, kids give me candy. <laughs> well, my dog find out we look alike. He killed himself. Oh, man. I was an ugly kid too. I worked in a pet store. People kept asking how big I get. Wow! Wow! You're too fast for this whole section over here. Right? Wow! He called the whole section over there slow because he was too fast for him. You're too fast for this whole section over here. Right? <laughs> Good, I was ugly in my sandbox. The cat kept covering me up all the time. You know. <laughs> you know what a childhood I had. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> Kids today is different. They got it too good. They don't appreciate it either. Last Christmas, my kid wanted a BB gun. I gave him a BB gun. He gave me a sweatshirt with a bullseye in the back. <laughs> smart kid I got. The other day, I told him about the birds and the bees. He told me about my wife and a butcher. <laughs> I tell you, my whole life is pressure. Nothing but pressure. This pressure is like a heaviness. Always on top of me, this heaviness, since I'm a kid. Other people wake up in the morning. Ah, oh, new day. Up and at him. I wake up, the heaviness is right there waiting for me. And sometimes I even talk to it, and I say, hi, heaviness. <laughs> and the heaviness looks back at me today, you're gonna get it good, you know. We'll be drinking early today. 
And I don't want to drink him a bad drink. When I drink the next day, I got to do two things. I try and locate my car, and I got to bring back the car I took. I'm a bad <laughs> You know the trouble with me? I appeal to everyone who can do me absolutely no good. <laughs> with me, nothing comes easy. I met the surgeon. That's a, man, this poor guy goes everywhere telling everyone his problems, and we just laugh at him. Ain't that something, man? We just laugh at every single hardship that he has over his life. No one stops to pray for him, pray with him. Give him a hug. You know, shed some light on the fact that just say, look, bro, you're not ugly. <sighs> Sometimes you got a lot of people in order for them. I mean, God will forgive you as long as your heart is in the right place. He don't mind. But this guy's good, man. He's funny. In general, he offered me a cigarette. <laughs> I mean, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't got no respect at all. Do you I mean, no respect at all. This afternoon, I was at BBQ this afternoon. I was in a bar. They told me to get out. They wanted to start the happy hour. <laughs> I mean, it's not easy being me. Well, last week, my house was on fire. My wife told the kids, be quiet. You wake up daddy. <laughs> now, but I tell you. Nah, bruh. The house was on fire, and the wife says to the kids, be quiet, you're going to wake up daddy. Oh, my God, that's so mean. Why am I laughing? If y'all are laughing, y'all are just as mean as me. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. My dad going to face you. ever laugh so hard that your dad going to face you? Uh, man. Man. <laughs> Oh, I've been laughing a while today, and I, I like to laugh. I like to laugh. I look at things that make me laugh. I have conversations with people. If it's if it's uh, one of those um, depressing conversations, I drop in a joke. Um, sometimes it's untimely because they might be talking about somebody in their family that just now died, but I want to bring some light to it. Um, so, you know what I mean? Checking out things like this is, 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 is absolutely phenomenal, especially if someone is okay with, doing self-deprecating humor like i i like that i do that often with myself too kids so. be quiet you wake up daddy <laughs> no but i tell you i finally got some respect they asked me here tonight you know and i tell you i'm surprised i'm here i mean i voted for randolph scott <laughs> hey look at ronald reagan man he is dying laughing man he is dying hold on so ronald reagan is sitting next to Nancy Reagan, right? This is Nancy Reagan. And that's his mom, right? Is that his mom? If, if I'm calling her out wrong, I apologize. Who is this lady in the red that he's sitting next to? Is that Marilyn Monroe? I don't know. Listen, listen. I, I, all I know is that there was a there was a, a lady who sung Happy Birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday, Mr. President. I don't know. I'm just asking y'all. Y'all know better than me. Look at this person right here in the red. If that's not Marilyn Monroe, I don't know who it is. I know that that's, I know this one right here is Nancy. I don't know who this one right here is. She, whoever this one right here is, she's, she's dressed to the nines. Is that George Bush's wife? I don't know, man. Okay. Okay, I'm done guessing and I'm done speculating. It's y'all turn to help me out in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.